There was a time when exposing your hardwood floors meant you just couldn't afford wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. Not anymore. Hardwood floors are definitely in. And today, there are so many wood and stain color choices, hardwood floors can suit any decor. The types of wood commonly used for flooring include red oak, beech, maple, white oak, walnut, birch, and ash. As soon as the wood arrives from the sawmill, workers at the floor factory stack it on racks, then pile the racks floor to ceiling in a dryer that's the size of a large barn. There, large fans circulate hot air around the racks. The wood's moisture content is between 40 and 60 percent, depending on the season. When that drops to about 7 percent, the wood is ready to come out. This drying process takes anywhere from 10 days to a month. The length of time varies because some species dry out much slower than others. The wood is in random lengths and widths, so the first step after drying is to cut it to standard sizes. On the way to the rip saw, the planks pass under an optical device called an optimizer. In mere seconds, it reads the dimensions of each plank and sends that information to a computer. The computer calculates the greatest number of standard size pieces that can be cut from the plank, then guides the rip saw to cut accordingly. This maximizes the yield and limits waste. Flooring is made from medium quality rather than top quality lumber to keep prices competitive. As the pieces exit the saw, workers manually cut out any large knots or other defects, weak points at which a piece could potentially snap and jam up the equipment. The pieces now travel to a machine called the molder. Its revolving steel knives spin at a rate of 6,000 rotations per minute, carving a tongue down one side of each piece and a groove down the other. Workers do frequent spot checks to make sure the tongues and grooves fit together snugly. The next machine carves grooves on what will be the underside of the pieces. This is for air circulation and stability. Then, an embossed wheel imprints the words, Made in Canada. Using cross-cut saws, workers remove any faults in the wood and divide pieces that have noticeable color variations. This is the first step towards sorting the wood by grade. Now, a machine called an end matcher carves a tongue and groove on the two ends. Here's the view from inside the machine. Workers check once again for faults, then, assessing quality and color, sort each piece by grade. This will be pre-finished flooring, so the pieces now run through a sander to prepare them to receive eight coats of varnish. For certain finishes, the first coat contains wood stain. All subsequent coats are colorless. Between each application, ultraviolet lamps dry the varnish in just a few seconds. As the flooring exits the last drying oven, it's ready for packaging. Unfinished hardwood flooring has to be sanded, stained and varnished after it's installed. Pre-finished flooring eliminates that extra work, sparing you the dust, the drying time and the smell.